So good afternoon or good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Hala Gattas. I am an associate professor at the University of South Carolina, and I'm also affiliated with the Center for Research on Population and Health at the American University of Beirut, or AUB Lebanon. Um, I would like to welcome you on behalf of a team of researchers from AUB and the National Institute of Nutrition and Food Technology, INTA, Tunisia, to this webinar series, uh, which aims to present some of our findings and ongoing work from a study entitled The School and Community Drivers of Child Diets, or the SCALE study for short. Uh, this study was generously funded by the International Development Research Center, IDRC Canada, to whom the research team extends their thanks. Uh, today, I'm going to give a brief background on the study on behalf of the research team, and then introduce you to our two speakers for this first webinar, who will focus on the economics of food environments and food choice components of the study. So the study, the scale study was conducted in urban settings in two middle income countries of the Middle East and North Africa region, Beirut, Lebanon in the Eastern Mediterranean and Tunis, Tunisia in the Southern Mediterranean, where in the last two decades, uh, we've seen substantial dietary and lifestyle changes leading to a doubling of the prevalence of overweight and obesity amongst children during this period. When we first set out to conduct this study, the estimates available for the prevalence of overweight and obesity in school-aged children were of around 20% in Tunisia and around 30% uh, in Lebanon. And for school-aged children and adolescents, um, both school and neighborhood uh, environments constitute intermediate structures which really mediate the effect of societal forces on children's food choices and habits. And so based on this, um, we set out to uh, develop innovative and context relevant methods to measure and try to account for all these complex factors that may influence children's food choices and diets. And then to use these methods to describe the environments within which children's food choices are made, as well as identify barriers and enablers to healthy food choices within these environments. And ultimately, uh, we hope that this work will inform context-specific multi-level interventions for influencing children's food choices and diets. In order to do this, we considered factors at the macro level, such as the economic and policy environment, which Dr. Shaban will describe for us today. And then the MISO level environments, which include school food environments, as well as the wider food environment or neighborhoods that children encounter in their daily trajectories. Um, and then at the micro level, we considered individual level factors as well as household uh, factors. From a methodological perspective, uh, we prioritized the development of context relevant measures that try to engage children's lived with children around their lived experience of their food environments. And so at the macro level, uh, what Jad is going to be presenting today is based on a desk review and secondary data analysis. Um, and then at the MISO level, we conducted school surveys and checklists at the level of schools. We also developed a wearable camera protocol to help to map children's food exposures in their daily trajectories and combine this with machine learning for photo analysis. And then applied geospatial mapping uh, to try to describe the environments around schools in terms of food outlets and advertising. And then at the micro level, uh, we conducted both child and parent surveys. And as part of the child survey, we uh, introduced a gamified choice experiment, which uh, Dr. Ali Shalat will be presenting to you today. Um, and throughout this webinar series, we will be presenting data that were collected to represent fourth to sixth grade uh, children and adolescents living in urban contexts in both Lebanon and Tunisia. And we used a two-stage sampling approach to recruit a representative sample of fourth to sixth graders, the majority of whom were aged um, between nine and 12 years, uh, attending approximately 50 schools in each of the contexts. Uh, schools were stratified by school type and then randomly selected using probability proportionate to size. And then within schools, children were stratified by grade and then a random sample was selected within schools. So the data that will be presented today and for the next two webinars relies on this sample of just over 2,000 children in each of the settings, their parents, and then um, 
uh, between 100, well, 200 and 300 days of images for the for the wearable cameras, um, and thousands of retailers and advertisements around those schools. We aim to have um, three uh, webinars presenting the different components of the study. Uh, within each of these webinars, we hope to have presentations of around 20 to 25 minutes each, leaving 25 minutes for an open discussion where we would really value hearing from the audience um, about uh, your thoughts on this work, uh, about other ongoing work uh, that you may be leading in other contexts, and help us to think about parallels and differences across contexts and consider together what the next important research questions are as they relate to children and adolescents' food, cho food choices and diets. And I also just want to say that all of the, the work that will be presented um, in the next three web webinars is the result of an amazing team effort involving incredibly dedicated teams in both Lebanon uh, and Tunisia. And so uh, what the presenters will be presenting is really the work of, of everyone in this list. And so for now, um, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our speakers for today's webinar. Uh, Dr. Jacques Chaban is adjunct associate professor at AUB and a visiting professor at the University of Paris Dauphine and in SEAD. Uh, Dr. Jacques Chaban holds a PhD in economics and a master's in environmental and natural resource economics from the Toulouse School of Economics and an MBA from OSCP Business School in Paris. His primary research interests are in development economics, public economics of health, education, and labor policies. And he regularly contributes to economic policy analysis on Middle Eastern and global development issues to various international institutions and UN agencies. And our second speaker is Dr. Ali Shala, who is an Associate Professor of Applied Economics at AUB. He holds an MSc in Tropical Agricultural Development from the University of Reading in the UK and a PhD in Applied Economics from Imperial College London. His work focuses on applied choice analysis, food waste behavior, food security and systems, health policy, transportation economics, and agrarian and development studies. He's also actively engaged in independent economic consulting for local and international organizations across private, public, and voluntary sectors. Uh, and so I would like to give the floor to Dr. Shaban, um, if you could share your screen, please, and start your presentation. Thank you. 